Lastly, game you played Luz and Drew 2-2. What did you make of the performance? Um, I think we had a bit of a slow start. We conceded maybe a few goals that we weren't really proud of conceding. Um, but in the second half, we brought it back and we fought back. And I think it's character to the team that we can come back from two goals behind and manage to get a point out the point out the game. And really, in the end, we we're probably disappointed not to take the three. As a defender, how frustrating is it conceding, you know, needless goals? I mean, it is extremely frustrating, yeah. But I think it's just a matter of staying switched on all the time and trying to focus throughout the whole 90 minutes to try and get rid of those kind of sloppy goals that we have conceded a few this season, yeah. Last home game, you were involved in a huge 8-0 win. What was that like to get your first goal of the season, a clean sheet, and in front of over a 1,000 fans? It was great, to be fair. That day was, it was so much fun. I think it's just joyful when it's one of those days when you're playing well, you're scoring goals. We kept a clean sheet, and obviously, Oh, yeah, I was ecstatic to score my first goal for Sheffield United against my former club Coventry as well, so it was a great day, yeah. Can you put into words just what that day as a whole was for you? I mean, it was a, yeah, it was a great day. Um, just obviously any game in this league is important and to get three points is good enough, but then to score and to win 8-0 and have such a great team performance was just amazing, yeah. How has training been this week for you? Yeah, training's been good. I think we're really focused ahead of the Bristol game. We know it's going to be a bit of a challenge and they're at the top of the league at the moment, so no one's managed to beat them yet. So we're really hoping we can kind of stay focused, put into action what our plan is, and hopefully we'll get the three points on Sunday. They are your former team, aren't they? Yeah, for another former team. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about playing them at the weekend? Um, Excited. I'm ready to go. We've had a bit of a break in the league at the moment and obviously, yeah, being a former team, uh, a club that I probably spent 10 years at in my youth, obviously I, I know the club well, but obviously that doesn't take away from the fact that I really, as a team and individually, want to get those three points on Sunday. How difficult do you think it is going to be to get the three points on Sunday? I think it's definitely going to be a challenge, yeah. Every game in this in this league, like I said, is mm -hmm. a real challenge. And especially against Bristol, they've got a lot of attacking threats. They're solid defensively. But I think if we play well and we play our game, then I think it's a real possibility that we can get those three points. You mentioned, obviously, them being top of the table. <clears throat> Bristol City are obviously unbeaten this season. Does this make you determined to break the record or for you does it put a lot of pressure on? Um, I don't think it puts pressure on and I don't think it's something, we're very early on in the season, so I don't think it's something that really you can look at too much at this point. But I think, as I said, if we play our game well and we go there and we attack and defend well and keep a clean sheet, then I think we'll put ourselves in a great position to get the three points against Bristol and against any team in this league. Obviously, you were there, as you mentioned, like about 10 years. What else do you kind of know about your opponents? Uh, I know a few of the girls, but obviously there's been quite a lot of change since I've been there. So, yeah, I know a few of the girls, I know how they play. I've played against a few of them in previous seasons. So, yeah, I kind of know what to look out for a little bit. So hopefully that will be beneficial on Sunday. What kind of performance can we expect to see, not only individually from you, but as a team at the lane on Sunday? I think it's going to be hopefully an exciting performance. I think. We're kind of ready, we, we've got a lot of excitement and a lot of built-up energy ready to go and perform well in the league, because obviously come back, we, we need to kind of put on a good performance from Lewis for the whole 90 minutes, not just 45. So I think there's going to be a lot of excitement. Hopefully that will show on the pitch with how we're playing. We're going to not be afraid of Bristol. I don't think we should fear them. I think we need to go at them and try and get on the front foot as much as we can. And then individually, performance for me, I just want to have a solid performance and hopefully command the back four and the whole team and get a clean sheet. What are your expectations for the season then? You know, are there any personal goals for you? Um, I think personal goals is just playing well, performing, trying to score goals, trying to keep clean sheets. And I think as a team, 
my goal for our team is to just take every game as it comes and try and reach that level of consistency where we're performing well week in, week out. How important are the fans going to be, you know, on Sunday behind an unbeaten side, you know, trying to break the record, really? Yeah, the fans are a massive support. I think it does give you just a, a great boost when you're on the pitch and you kind of can feel the support of the fans around you. So I think it's great to see however many people come. Hopefully it'll be another increase in the fans that come and hopefully we can put on a good, exciting performance to keep them coming back.